Welcome to our review on wireless communication. Now, these days, you've probably got several wireless devices in your possession or in your home. So any appliance that communicates wirelessly needs an aerial. So you'll have one on your phone, your laptop, anything else that's got a wireless communication capability has an aerial on it. Now, we do have a few key advantages of going wireless. First one is you obviously don't need a wired connection. So that means you don't have to have wires plugged into it, which means that it's a nice portable type of technology. It's convenient because you can use it wherever you fancy. And we can also use it on the move. So you can actually use wireless communication while on a train, for example. So what we find when we're talking about these wireless signals then is that they're traveling through the air and they can be reflected or refracted by buildings or even layers in our atmosphere. So what we find as a result of that is that we can receive a signal that would otherwise be blocked. Now we can also see a downside here that we can see a drop in our signal quality because if our signal loses too much energy, it becomes too weak and therefore won't be picked up. So what we can find is that if we've got too much reflection or refraction, then the signal quality is going to be lost. The other problem that we're going to find is that if we've got too many reflections occurring, then the quality will decrease because our appliance is going to receive more than one signal at once. So that means that the quality of the overall signal received gets lower. So we've got obviously Wi-Fi and Bluetooth these days, which are excellent for short range communication. If we want to communicate over a long range, we need a slightly different technique though. So what we actually do is one of two things. We can use part of the atmosphere called the ionosphere to reflect our actual waves. So you can see in the diagram in the bottom left there, we're looking at the blue waves this time. So what we've got is our transmitter. We're going to send our radio wave from that transmitter into the ionosphere where it's going to be reflected back to a receiver further round. So this is how we can actually transmit information over these long distances where the curvature of the earth would have affected it. If we want to use something else, then we could also use satellites and microwaves. So from our transmitter, we're going to send microwaves out of our atmosphere to our satellite. The satellite has a receiver which picks up that signal and it's then retransmitted back down to another receiver elsewhere in the world. When we're actually sending these waves from dishes, some of the signal is going to diffract rather than traveling in the straight line. So what we find there is that we're going to have a drop in quality as a result. In addition to that, the waves will refract as they pass through different layers within our atmosphere. So again, what we'll see as a result of that refraction is a drop in the quality. So we need to remember that there are two things that could lead to a drop in our signal quality, and that is the refraction as it goes through the different layers in the atmosphere and diffraction as it's transmitted from the dishes.